Hi, Matt here at the Tropical Marine Biological Research Center in Hainan. This facility is designed to grow corals. They have over a hundred different types of coral colors, shapes, and sizes. How many different types of corals can you identify? This little beauty is called an elegance coral. It has a couple of mouths that filter water. When it's fully opened, its tentacles spread out really, really wide. This one is called a plate coral. They're rounded and use their tendrils to move food to the center mount in the middle. One of the most beautiful corals, in my opinion, is Acropora. And it's not just one polyp. Thousands of polyps are working together to create a community that creates the branches. This beauty is a toadstool leather coral, and it is just gorgeous. This is a green spaghetti finger leather. It sort of looks like a pile of spaghetti. This is a brain coral with a little hitchhiker on the back. A uh, hermit crab that's doing its job to clean the surface of the coral. They have a lot of symbiotic relationships between the coral and the organisms that live around the coral. Now this coral right here with all the clownfish around it is nicknamed frog spawn. It sort of looks like a collection of frog eggs. The clownfish here have found an interesting home within its tendrils. These tanks sustain life that's so delicate. Everything has to be perfect, from the lights, to the water, to the flow, to the uh, filtration. It all works together to keep this coral growing. And these corals are specifically chosen so that they can grow in the best possible circumstances and be transplanted out into the ocean. So there's a lot of important research here going on in order to find corals that will end up saving the reef in the future. The coral environment is extremely fragile and we need to do our part to make sure that it exists for future generations to see. We can do this in three different ways. Try and live a low carbon lifestyle. Because of global warming, the amount of carbon in the world has caused the water to acidify, which kills the coral. Number two, buy products that are not made with illegal coral. And number three, wear chemicals when you go in the water that are not toxic to uh, the corals and end up killing them. So if we do these three things, we can make sure that the coral will last for future generations to appreciate. 